Hello everybody, it's me, Michael, and welcome to this new video. Today I'm actually going to be showing you some speedrun strats that people use to run up a claw. I just thought people should probably use I have kind of discovered that you use, but they may or may, that may or may not be useful. You can figure them out. Except for one. This is actually useful. So, oh, and also, um, I guess just to be noted, as you can see here, no. I don't have every level. I've actually been trying to 100% the game again after I restart my save, save file for the square percent I did, or, uh, that I did last, that I did yesterday. So, yeah, I'm only actually going to be showing you some up to Krusty Krab level. No, no Larry's Gym, no Jellyfish Fields, no Blue Lagoon, and no Sandy. No Blue Lagoon, no Sandy's Tree. And none of the question mark levels. Actually, you know what? No. I do have all. Is what I would normally do. But since I'm such a nice guy, I'm gonna be sacrificing my restart one just so I can show you these things by using G Dynamite levels. Because I'm such a nice guy. Okay. But the still isn't gonna include any. Most of the question mark, question mark, question mark levels since I have to actually, since I'll have to actually be, go through all of those. So, we will be starting off. So, um, let's. So, um, we are actually gonna be starting off with the first one that I know, that I actually do know now. All the ones in 3, 4, 5, 1 Ankle Weight. Level does have a couple, like you could jump, you can use a crouch jump to jump onto the boxes. But I'll be playing that later when we get to the I was jumping up, but um, if you actually do these, here's a little thing. But you can. There are checkpoints that you have to go past that will make Patrick's little meter go up. You know, you know, little meter during the fluffy chase that lets you know how far you are behind left fluffy. And if you actually skip those, you don't move up, which means that act that the barrier that normally that the barrier that normally activates that loads you into the Tunnel of Bluff section doesn't work. So, yeah. Can't actually do that. Sorry. Sorry. So, yeah. So, I'm actually gonna be showing some speed <laughs> these aren't all just gonna be glitch shit. These aren't all gonna be glitches. These are just some things I also found that, you know, kinda speed things up. <laughs> Now there is one speedrun strat that people in, youth, in this game always use no matter what. The crouch jump. I'll just explain right now. What you're supposed to do, um, shout to actually cause some haste so when work when the moderators for that for actually teaching you guys because I never could figure it out. And then he taught me. But then I just asked and well people. He came to my knees. Alrighty. Um, I have to explain it since in 3451 Anchor Way, you can't do this. It basically, if you j basically what you're supposed to do is jump, and then at the peak of your jump, hit the crouch button twice, either control or C. And then this will cause you to actually gain more height, which allows you to jump on things that are normally usually higher. You could probably use these in some cases, but yeah, this is mostly only be and. <laughs> Obviously, this is only using levels where you can actually crouch down. Alright. Alright, so here's a nice little speedrun guy. After you've grabbed the first buck, um, most speedrunners save the one that's usually on the chair for lap, or when they're going upstairs. Don't. Look. Watch. You'll actually have enough time to get up stairs. Well, doesn't just immediately teleport downstairs, like I guess some people might say. Oh, we need to uh, check the box through this. Yeah, this is why I open the console. See? What she does is when she wakes up, she does the little tiny animation she does usually when she wakes up. And then she will do the little running, and then she will run down stairs in her usual path, and once she gets to about, about here, then she does a turning thing again, and then falls back asleep. So, 
this window gives you just the right amount of time where you can grab the one on the chair and then, well, I guess, and then usually make it to close this. No, no so I found out, um, I think this is just a well-given thing. Save the ones in the basement for last, because then you can just run in here and then grab them in. Then afterwards, you can just grab them in and get out. Simple. I've also seen the speedrun strat where you save the bit where if you're acing the level, I prefer all aces all 101%. Uh, grab the berry plush after you grab all of that. But I can never seem to get it right. You're supposed to afterwards then quickly place the berry plush, grab the gold goofy gooba token, and shoot down. And do that while you shoot down peril. But anytime I try, I've tried this, I either A. I either A, shoot down Pearl before I can grab the Goofy Goomba token, and I think I ain't able to ace it, or B, I dodge, Pearl catches me, and I end up dying, sh die, and I just die trying. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Alright. I'll be right. I'll, I'll, I'll be right. Alright. That's really all the ones in here, although there is a neat little quick path you can do to get to, um, for all the dollars. After you do that, you go either from the normal one or with mine, just run up to the crow's nest. Um, grab the ones in here. If you're doing it how most people do it, this would trigger Pearl. She's always triggered after you grab two stacks. Of, after you grab the two stacks of dolls after the, the one on her makeup tape. And then grab the ones on the on the roof. Afterwards, run downstairs. If you have, then I guess you grab. Okay. Then you go in here. Grab the ones in. Grab the ones in the living room. Grab the ones in the kitchen. Bingo, bango. Then if you then grab the chair one, grab that. Go upstairs. Grab the ones in the bath. Grab the ones in Krabs' room, in his bathroom, and then like I mentioned, go down. And then finally go downstairs and grab the ones in the goofiest cellar. And grab the mail mini gun and then oh, win, I guess. So that's all with uh three four five one ink away. But that really uh, Patrick Trock doesn't have many of them. Now you know Patrick Trock doesn't have any straps. So I'll be sure you need more eventuals. Now I'll be showing you for Squidward's Monument, my favorite level. Actually, it's my favorite level. Squid's Monument is level. Is level. the dialogue and um well and if it has a cutscene where you can skip it like this cutscene the viewers cutscene or the jellyfish feel cutscene then obviously do that okay. oh here we go now i can show you the garage jump so here's what it looks like isn't it yeah you can use this to say um get up on squidward's counters also, I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure if this does anything, but I think he can use this to hide from Big You can hide on top of the fridge. Not sure if this will save you if Big Lane's chasing you or not. Oh no, I'll test that. Oh no, here, we can test that. Yeah. Huh. Oh yeah, Big Lane always sucks out here. the really spawn locations for them. <laughs> Upstairs. I really should probably script these. I'm not. Yeah. 
Uh, Bolden Brash always appears either in Squidward's art gallery, in the bathroom, or in the little closet. Squillian ones either in the state always appear appears either in the stairway, in the weird hallway with the flickering light, you know, the one that connects the bathroom with the bed, in Squidward's bed, or Squidward's bedroom, and then his clarinet either is in the art gallery, the bathroom, or the shotgun closet. I'm not really meant any in SpongeBob and Pineapple, just, um, once you start, um, besides one thing, you start the level of hiding this exercise room, then you will probably just pass. Usually do, and also, um, do that once you filled up Gary's bowl, and once you grab the food, hide in there, and then the pass by. And then, yeah, that's about it. And, uh, Bogemon doesn't have any also, except, um, once you grab all 100 mayo, don't you do the bypass, you must actually pillage. Easy way is just, once you cross the yellow line, it actually causes the alarm to go off, and then the clones know you're not a clone. Once you do this, you must have a Krabby Patty with the speed thing. Just immediately, you just immediately jetline it to the door, and then just mash it. You'll get caught by one of the jelly pops, but you'll still... But, um, this is a given, um, if you end up dying when you, like, trigger a cutscene or something, unless you're trying to ace the level when it has a death list, you're, you're fine to continue. Only other cases I've seen this is if you fill up the last hive and then get killed by one of the Goofy Goop things once it explodes, you'll just go into the cutscene. And also if you get killed once you do the final hit to, uh, Doodle uh, the Jelly and Plank did. Yeah, and there might be other cases, but those are the that you know. Oh yeah, I have to keep this in full bright mode to keep the... keep away the lags. To keep away the horrendous lags. I have my dinner. Pizza. It's pizza, and I just can't wait. Alright, now this is the one that made me actually want to make this video. Someone on the speedrun.com okay. actually asked this on how you do this. Yep, and I thought, you know, I made out one on how to make every, I don't know, get every extra, might as well make one for speed. Like that. I know JSK Beans done this, but whatever. Alright, this is the Tent Blake. So here's what you do. After you've done the um, dump thing here, then you've done to the goal of the up here, instead of just dropping down like normal, immediately sprint and jump to this wall. And then you need to hug this. And then just hug this until you're about here. And boom! This skip that entire cutscene. That usually tell what Patrick is inside. And now, well, Patrick is locked out of the. And now, Patrick is locked out. And now you can just walk right to Blaze's. Patrick's the one that could Instead of, um. Not Squidward. So you can just walk right to Blaze's. Be warned, um. The guards in most nests and nest, all nest lives, except for the. Except for the one that's actually near that entrance, are uh, still here. Warhead's on, though. But this is godlike in an early percent, and also godlike in a, in an ace in all aces, since you can also do this on the map. Get teleported in after you've got the berry thing. That's always nice. But this isn't really with 101 percent, because you know, you got like the statue. You gotta go into the hedge maze. The beef. You gotta go in the hedge maze for the beat, and you gotta go, you gotta go in the hedge maze for three lower and get But it's really just the statues in that hedge maze thing. Wait, another one, this is this, this is especially for 101%. You need to do this for the beat lower. Can you see, see what I mean? Oh, I never knew that guy had a mustache. I know I love that. I never knew the, I never knew the god one. 
that's awesome. I love I love that. Alright, here we go. When you're in the edge maze, you remember remember the crouch jump from earlier? Well yeah, he knew that to get he knew that to get on top of the hedges. So you don't need to worry about the nest. So you don't need to worry about this nest, but so you can just way all the way to uh here. Yeah, this is normally where the flow is, but okay. This load cannot reach you unless you get too close to him, so yeah. Yeah. Also you can still trigger the Easter egg even if you just drop right on top when you're on top of the flow itself. Normally there were two other glitches you could use to jump over the thing, and if you got Patrick Ross dead, you may even get to the last one. Keep the wall from the end of But yeah, that's about it. The words. What speedrun strats for that much? And um not any in Mrs. Bob's Boating School at all, like, it, at all, and ditto for the Goofy Goo. And, uh, ditto for the Goofy Goo, but at least I think so. I might be missing. Yeah, I might miss some. Same with, the uh, the Mama Wear, actually. So, um, we're gonna actually move on to this one I found myself in, uh, in Induction Park, which I'm really proud of. And you can do this, and this one works for all of them. Squawk! This one works for all of them, so, yeah. Just... Uh-oh, pick the poison. So here's the thing. This one's more of a strat. These two are more strats, but um, we're to get the most. be right back. I'm gonna finish my food actually. Ah, uh, back. No, I just really want to. So. Right, so he has a nice little punch. And in the national part, he has a nice little punch. You can actually just immediately run right into this nice little nice little strat as well. This looks for most levels actually. It's gotta be careful. Make sure you check the game because if you see them, um, I'm going to duck behind one of the pets. This one's for all of them. And here's the other one. This is what it is. You can crouch jump over the trash cans. This helps a lot since you don't need to do your stupid acid thing. Although, in Ace in any, although no Ace is in 101, you do need to do the thing. If you need the checkpoint, just, you know, just run to that area. You just run to that area before you go. And you got the checkpoint still. That one's, um... <laughs> Once you load in this level, you can just get the red in this party. Just go over the thing. 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 
got, um, I got about, like, three more to show you. One on the Krusty Krab and two are on Bob. I mean, goo, goo, goo. Right, this one really helps with the pieces and one on one with the set. I'm, I call this the Flying Dutchman Death Glitch. Alright, so here's the thing, um, this might take a moment. Also, here's in the this glitch. Let's space there, you can get that. Um, I guess I'm, um, this one's a little hard since you need to get the 340. Where's my piece of sweat? Once you've done this, um, if you die to the flying Dutchman and you do this right, it might be wrong, right? I'm not sure, I don't care. Then you'll be able to actually wait the clock out for the rest of the minutes and not be fun. Nice for eight all aces and nice for one on one. Just remember to do that. Just remember to interact with the cash register for treasure or wait. The treasures are wait for haunted fools. The fools. But I'm not actually gonna show that. So it's hard. That's the only one you need for pizza. I got another one. My mom gave me this one. It's kind of like Hawaiian one with mushrooms. Yes, I like pineapple. I love pizza. Fight me. Fight me. People can like what they like. If I see any, oh, and if I see any mean comments on, if I see any mean comments in the bottom of my videos criticizing me for liking pineapple on pizza, you're not. I'm, I'm removing the comment. I'm either removing the comment or just, or just replying with the same message each time. So don't get mad because I'm. Alright, so next one is in. Um, One's in Sandcastle, and the final one I'll be showing you is in Weenie Hot Juniors. These are, alright, I just call these the <laughs> Sandcastle Crouch Jump, and the, uh, and, well, the Weep, and the, a very long one, Weenie Hot Junior Manager Stall. Both of these involve the Crouch Jump. <laughs> <laughs> Right over the band-aid. And this also, so this allows you to get that sand down easy. 
little bit of a worthless one, but still speedrun strat nonetheless as it does save you time. I have been working on a thing called Glitch where I where I think we might be able to get up here if we, or get through the bump, the bars if we just you know, finagle a little bit. Because you know, we can get up here, get past here, we can jump to we can just drop into the area and grab a screwdriver quick. And think about the time to share that would be for a normal for a any set. This doesn't this wouldn't work for a one on one or for the other two since you know since you need to grab the extra as I get points back. But any percent this would be like another god tier one. But I'm a little lazy, so we're just gonna do this. So we're just gonna um, tell the so we're just gonna tell what squid would have to grab it. Yeah. Besides that the boss thing would still actually Yeah. The wood thing would not work in those two, but if but if we were able to glitch through the bars, I think this would mean we might be able to we would be able to do this with the other bars. And figuring that out would work for all of them, since that means you would just glitch through the bars that will be that will be all the two that will go the statue there. Not to mention you don't need not to mention you don't need to waste your time for puzzles, because you can just whoop, glitch right through the bars. Final glitch we'll see, we'll see today. It's right here. This one now. All right, we'll be the swing hunt. Intruder scan activated. Uh -huh. What is this? <laughs> yeah, you're able to crouch jump right on top of those tables. Ow! Yeah, you're able to actually crouch jump onto those tables. So I think you might see where this is going. Good thing it doesn't kill us there. Scanning. No intruder identified. What you're supposed to do, if I did this correctly, is jump up here, and once you get the manager to chase you, if you run over intruder to scan this activated. one. Run over to that one. Identified. Yeah, I'm gonna try and move the manager. Yeah, I did this right though, because he can cat because no. No trespassing. Here we go. So if you back him up to that was here. worry about it. Because now he's just stuck. Because he's stuck there. He can't unstuck himself. So as long as you just don't run it, you do. Alright, so those are all the glitch glitches I know of. There is kind of one in Rock Bomb where if you just Walk across the edge, you don't need to worry about the parasite worm, but that actually doesn't work. Yeah, the parasite worm can actually still appear on the um, on the sand dunes. I tried it was full bright mode, and he did actually appear on the sand on the um, sandy parts. So um, yeah, don't do that. He can still attack you there. So um, yeah. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's your birthday day and we're watching this video, then happy birthday to you and I'll and I bid you adieu and communication.